Derby News, I'm JT Money. And I'm Herb, we're reporting from Elderberry Flats, Oregon. It's the second annual Booze Brothers in the middle of FNA Nowhere. Cap out, right on. So let's get on with it then. Okay, how to build that derby car according to Mike launched a few months ago on this very channel. That's right, and there have actually been nine episodes so far. There's been a lot of inquiries if there's gonna be more episodes of Mike's show. You know what, and yes there is, there's actually more to come. Indeed there is, Herbie. Mike told me there's gonna be a 10th episode and he's gonna try to get 15 before he blows it up in September! 15, you know what, you better get in gear, Mikey. No doubt about it. So at the same time, Mike's been building his Volvo, Larry's been building a 1993 Nissan Altima. <laughs> and as you can see, he's got it all pinned up and nearly ready to go. Damn, that looks great! Love the two-sided paint job. He's gonna run them rims, ain't he? Well, you know what? They came with the car. He tried to sell them, but no one wanted them. So I think he's running them. What? Really? I don't know if that's such a good idea. You know, what do you guys think? Should he run the custom rims, or should he get some old steel ones on there? You know, I'll think it. I think it'll be fine. So I just say run them, run them, Larry. All right. What's next? Uh, what's next is Demo Derby USA. That's right, 2008 Brett Wallard started DemoDerbyUSA.com with the objective of filming and commentating derbies to provide quality footage for drivers and fans alike. And since then, they have covered derbies all over from Washington to Wyoming and offer DVD sales and events on their website. You know, the commentators are great and their level of professionalism stands alone. Certainly do express a great passion for the sport that we all know and we all love. Absolutely. And now they have taken it to the next level. Demo Derby USA and the Demolition Derby League have teamed up to bring you Metal to Metal. This is freaking awesome. You guys gotta check it out. It's actually live video streaming of Demolition Derby. So far they've had four successful live broadcasts and they were incredible. You guys really need to check it out. Go to www.metaltometal.tv and see for yourself. Right on, Brent, dude, and I love what you're doing. We gotta give props to Deadly Disastro and the Demolition Derby League for their efforts. That's right, Herbie. Check out the DDL at www.ddleague.org. Right on, man. And you know what? It's certainly awesome seeing all these new prospects coming out for the Demolition Derby. It is, Herbie. But you know what? What? That's cool. Really? really? None of this stuff works without the acceptance of use of the Derby drivers and fans. You know what? That's so correct, Money. So with that said, you guys need to branch out, open up, and accept all these new things for the benefit of Demolition Derby. The more options we have, the better. The more exposure for the sport is beneficial to all of us. Indeed it is. And speaking of exposure, let's go to Larry for the NDDR. Larry! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Larry. And I'm Naomi, and this is NDDR. This month, we recognize David Shook from Claremore, Oklahoma. For the last five and a half years, David has been a service supervisor for a gaming company. Gaming company? Yeah, they make the card shufflers for casinos. I know, it sounds pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. David has been married for 13 years, and they have two children. Denton and Logan, and Logan was just born the first of this month. That is awesome, dude. So his wife helps him paint his derby cars. And she also keeps track of the budget for derby. We all know that's a tough job. That it is. David grew up watching his dad's friend Ed Foster run in many derbies. Back in 96, Ed helped David get into the sport by assisting in the build of his first derby car, a 1975 Ford LTD. Now he participates in four to six derbies a year and runs some Enduros in between. His favorite cars of derby are 74 to 78 Chrysler sedans and wagons. When he's not occupied by derby and racing, he enjoys riding quads and spending time with his family. He also is restoring a 1950 Studebaker truck. Very nice. His advice to the rookies is to keep it fun and pay attention to small things while building your derby car because those will be the things that take you out. He also adds that if you're married with kids or just married at all, spend some time with the missus because if mama's not happy, nobody's happy. Can't be better said. His next derby will be this month on the 24th in Fort Smith, Arkansas. He'll be driving a 77 Chrysler New Yorker. Right on, David. Good luck in Fort Smith, and congratulations to you and the missus for your new arrival. All right, so that's Oklahoma's very own David Shook. Back to those guys up there. And build, build that, that derby car. car. Larry, Naomi, holy F and nay, nice work. Oh yeah, David, you're the man, brother. All right, Herbie, you know what? I'm ready to put an end to this 
and get my relaxation on, if you know what I'm saying. Sounds good to me, brother. I'm camping, man. Let's get the L out of here. Okay, so until next time, build that derby car!